Tyler Linderbaum is a freak. The Iowa center is the best interior offensive line prospect to come out of the NFL draft since Quentin Nelson, but is he a realistic option for Joe Douglas and the Jets at number 10 overall? We know he traded up for AVT last year, he values the trenches, but will that be enough? Let's take a look at the film and I'll show you why Linderbaum is such a freak. Let's go. What's going on everybody, it's Luke here from Play Like a Jet, and I gotta tell you, this film was fun to watch. Tyler Lindenbaum, the center out of Iowa. He's an incredible athlete. Zone running game, climbing to the second level, ability to play with tight hands and just stonewall in pass protection. He can do it all. We're going to mix it up a little bit today. We're not watching clips from three or four games. I'm going to show you Tyler Lindenbaum in one game, his highlights, and that showcases who he is as a prospect. We'll get into a discussion at the end whether he's a good value for the Jets at 10, but let's take a look at the film. These first two clips... They are the second and third plays I ever saw of Linderbaum, and he was incredible. This is making a first impression. First one here, zone running game. He's going to get to the two tech on the left-hand side of your screen and then climb to the linebacker number four. I just want you to watch the impact he has on this play and the running lane he opens up. Let it roll. Great job getting underneath the armpit of number 94. You see him get right under the right-hand shoulder and armpit and forces him three or four yards down the line of scrimmage. Now watch the effort and technique to get to the linebacker and then just drive him down the field. As we watch it again, just take a look at the hole he opens up. That's a five-yard lane, all because of Tyler Lindenbaum. This dude is a monster. The ability to shoot out of his stance, get under the armpit, move him, and then get to the linebacker, and not only seal, but then drive him three or four yards down the line of scrimmage. That's an impressive play. What a way to start. Now the very next play, we've gone from the zone running game to pass protection, one-on-one -on -one against a zero tech, head over the center, have a look at the technique and the ability of Tyler Lindenbaum. At the center position, tight hands on number 94, you see him wing to the inside immediately. Look at the base width, the power through his butt, through his core, his hand strength to just clamp this man for four or five seconds. This is legitimately a one-on-one -on -one passing rep where Tyler Lindenbaum blocks the nose for five seconds. They're the first two plays I was exposed to of this kid. It's very, very special. Watch it one more time. Count it out. One, two, three, four. It's a five-second pass protection rep. Kid's incredible. This was one of the most enjoyable plays on the Tyler Lindenbaum tape. It didn't amount to a huge run. But this is what I call a center blocking three defensive players on one snap. QB under center, Lindemann does a really nice job getting to the two tech, little reach block technique, gets to the second defensive lineman, there's two blocks, and then climbs all the way to the linebacker and clamps on and affects him as well. We'll watch it at one more speed, but guys, this is just special stuff. He blocks three men, one, two, three. Come on, what else can a guy do? This is a generational prospect, and I know that word gets thrown out a hell of a lot. This is the best center that we've seen come out of the draft in 10 plus years. And as I said in the intro, he's the best interior offensive lineman to come out since Quinton Nelson. One, two, three. Tyler and bomb, man, I tell you. What I wanted to go back to now was some pass blocking reps, because realistically, that's the most important facet of the game for offensive linemen in 2022. Linderbaum is just as good as it gets in that regard. We've already seen one clip. Here's another. Again, he's facing a nose. It's number 94. Look at the inside hands. Number 94's left arm is forced outside the shoulder pads. That's because Tyler wins with tight inside hands. And look at the width of his base. The power coming out of his lower half. The ability to absorb that pressure through his core. Redirect him. Keep his feet moving through contact. We're going to watch it one more time. Patient hands off the snap. Wins inside. And then it's all about power and flexibility through the core and lower half. It's awesome. Here's just another example of this. Linderbaum against the Zero Tech. He tries to beat him on his outside shoulder. Now watch him move his feet. He's great in short spaces in that phone booth. We let it roll. Linderbaum, tight hands again. Look at how he gets to his left really quickly and efficiently. He keeps working his feet and base through contact. He drops that anchor. Look at him drop his backside here. He just stands up the defensive lineman and then is able to reestablish his own feet. He stonewalls him five yards from the quarterback. I know these clips look really similar and some people may not find this particularly interesting, but the technique and the consistency of his mechanics, his hand placement, his base width, his ability to anchor and stonewall, his power, this is what makes this kid a top 10 prospect. 
I'm not sure Joe will take him there, but he's that caliber of player. Let's finish by looking at his vision though, an important part of the position for a center when you're not blocking someone one-on-one -on -one and you have to search for work or be patient with your eyes and your hands. How does he fare? Such a cerebral talent at the center position. He's gonna see a little stunt develop here on his left-hand side. Uh, number 78 and 73 don't do a great job picking it up. The guard gets sucked, doesn't feel the contact and the pickup of the tackle. Watch Linderbaum though, he feels it. He does a great job recognizing the stunt again inside hands, force meets force, the ability to stonewall that defensive end. It's like you draw it up in a textbook. It's just a phenomenal example of vision, ability to see that unfolding, and then have the play strength, the wherewithal, the tight hands to finish the play. That's Tyler Linderbaum in Pass Pro, and he's simply superb. So guys, that's a wrap on the Tyler Linderbaum tape. He's an incredible player. You just see the athleticism, the play strength, everything we've talked about in pass protection. The kid is special. Remember, all those clips are from one game. That's not me picking and choosing highlights. That's who Tyler is as a center for Iowa. Now, is he the best fit for the Jets at number 10? Look, he'd be incredible in this scheme. The fit and the talent matches up perfectly to the number 10 pick, but I don't think Joe will go in that direction. He's already spent some assets high in the draft with AVT, on an interior offensive lineman, I think he wants to go a premier position. He wants to target edge, offensive tackle, wide receiver, possibly trade down. I don't think he's willing to move Connor McGovern. He played some right guard in Denver. So the conclusion is maybe not the best fit for the Jets. I don't think that's the direction Joe will head in. But Tyler is an incredible player. He's the best interior offensive lineman to come out since Quinton Nelson. And I thoroughly enjoyed watching his tape. Whoever drafts him is getting a stud center for the next 10 years.